वेलकम एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल सॉल्व ए गेट 1999 क्वेश्चन इन विच वी हैव टू फाइंड द हाई टू लो प्रोपगेशन डिले टाइम इन ए सीमोस इन्वर्टर सो द क्वेश्चन इज इन ए सीमोस इन्वर्टर सर्किट सो वी हैव ए सीमोस इन्वर्टर सर्किट इन विच द वी आई इनपुट वी आई मेक्स अ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम लो वैल्यू वी ओ एल जीरो वोल्ट टू वी ओ एच हाई फाइव वोल्ट so we have to determine the high to low propagation delay time tau phl or tphl when it is driving a load capacitance of 20 picofarad some device data is also given for the nmos threshold voltage is 1 volt and the cam transconductance parameter 40 microampere per volt square and for pmos threshold voltage minus 1 volt and kp 20 microampere per volt square and channel f modulation we have to neglect and also we have to neglect the body fat so in this question we have to find the propagation delay high to low so first for this type of question we have to first draw the input output waveform so when we are giving a input okay so for input i am just saying this one h b i and this is time axis so we we easily draw the input wave form it is almost zero so this one is a, this point is our v o l 0 volt and this one p o h that is our 5 volt okay so input is this one now we have to draw the output okay so once again t and say this axis is our v out okay so when the input is low output will be high so okay and after that it will start decreasing like that okay so this one is very simple for this case also those who don't know the some basic for those people i am just writing the what is the operation so for input okay here i am writing n mos and p mos when input is low v o l okay when v o l is zero volt Zero volt, so the N MOS will be off, and P MOS will be on. That is our N MOS. This one is our N MOS. N MOS, and this one is our P MOS. Okay. Again, when V O L is say high volt, that is our five volt, so N MOS will be on. and p mos will be of simple concept okay so now for the propagation delay for the propagation delay we have to take the midpoint okay say so this one will be our say so this will be our voh okay or this one is 5 volt so it should be our 2.5 volt okay or we can write v o l plus v o h by 2 and this one is our v o l like so this value this time is nothing but simply tau p h l this time up to this point to this point so for example i am saying this point is t1 t1 time so this time will be t1 plus tau phl okay 
सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस वैल्यू ऑफ टाउ पी एच एल एंड टाउ पी एच एल डिफिनेशन एन द आउटपुट स्टार्ट डिक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम द हाई लेवल टू द फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द आउटपुट सो दिस वॉज इज द स्टैंडर्ड डिफिनेशन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस वैल्यू ओके सो वन मोर बेसिक दैट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर यू वेन पीमोस इज ऑन एंड एनमोस इज ऑफ फॉर ए लो वैल्यू फॉर ए लो वैल्यू सो इन दिस केस इन दिस केस वी हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट कैपेसिटर द कैपेसिटर चार्ज कैपेसिटर यू कैन से कैपेसिटर चार्जेस थ्रू पीमोस नेटवर्क and during that time nmos is off and capacitor charges through pmos network to a maximum value to a maximum value vdd okay in the next one in the next one for a for a high value of input capacitor discharges through nmos network nmos network ntw i am writing okay so this one is some concept so now we have to find the tau phl so how we have to find the tau phl okay so in this case what i am doing when capacitor is charge okay it is our cl we out and maximum it is charge to vdd when pmos is on and when pmos is off it have some charge vdd but in this case when we are giving a high value okay the capacitor will start discharging capacitor discharge yes or no capacitor discharge so we have to use this concept so in this case this ic value this ic value is same as that of the drain current of so this capacitor current ic will be same as that of id of and drain current of nmos transistor drain current of nmos transistor okay so first we can simply write the ic current ic current as we know we can write cl d v out by dt with a negative sign why i am putting the negative sign because this one cl t initial voltage 0 0 to 0 minus v out by dt okay so ic value will be our minus cl d v out by dt say equation number 1 okay now the idn so idn the drain current equation for a nmos in saturation region this transistor will operate in the saturation region i have already discussed this thing in my earlier video so please follow that video also so id n will be mu n c u x w by n of n by 2 v g s n minus v t n all square okay say so this one is the equation number 2 so these two equation is very important okay these two equation and i have already told these two ic is same as that of idn so what we have to write ic equals to idn so now we can write minus cl dv out by dt equals to mu n cox to here also w by l this one is a saturation current equation okay in an nmos vgsn 
minus p t n whole square. Okay. So now one can also write this as a minus c l d v out and mu n c o x w by l of n two. Don't forget this two. Okay. V g s n minus v t n square into d t. Now we have to integrate it. Okay. So now here we have to think. When initially the capacitor is charged to V d d, so it will be V d d, and the d v out for the calculation of tau p h l, it will go to V d d by two. V o l plus V h by two. So it should be our V d d by two for the tau p h l calculation. And T one, the time is varying from T one to T one plus tau p h l. Okay, once again, I want to focus this T one time to T one plus tau p h l and V o h to V o h by two. Okay, this one is very important. We have to use the concept of mathematics also lower limit, higher limit. Okay, so now we can. Okay, we have to solve this one. So to solve this one, what we are doing? We can write minus C L. V out if we solve this integration, so it should be our V D D by two. So V D D lower limit will be V D D and V D D by two. Okay. So this one mu n C O X W by L of n by two also or two here is there. V G S n minus V T n whole square. Okay, now t t one plus t p h l to t one. Okay, now we can easily solve this one. If we solve this one, it will come c l v d d by two. Okay, minus c l and v d d by two minus v d d. So minus v d d by two minus minus plus. So c l v d d by two. Okay, and This one half times of mu n c o x w by l of n. This one for the n mos, okay. And this v g s n will be high. That is our v d d minus v t n. When we are giving a high value of input, so it should be v g s n is nothing but simply we can say v o h or v d d. Okay, and this value will be T one plus tau P H L minus T one. You have to go step by step. Similarly, here also I am not V D D minus V D minus V D D by two. Okay. So next, this two and this two will be cancel out. Okay. So we can write C L V D D equals to mu n C O X W by L of n. Once again, I am writing the same n tau P H L. Now directly we can write the expression for tau P H L equals to C L. V D D by mu n C O X W by L of n V D D minus V T N whole square. Okay, so C L value is given twenty picofarad. So I am writing V D D is now five. So better to write five. Mu n C O X W by L n is given. Forty micron ampere for n mos, so it will be our forty into ten to the power minus six. 
okay and this value will be 5 vdd will be maximum value 5 minus 1 whole square so it should be 1 by 2 into 10 to power minus 12 minus 6 so minus 6 by 5 by 4 square in that is our 16 so tau thl is equal to simply 5 by 32 microsecond okay so now we have to solve 5 by 32 okay so i am using my calculator so 5 divided by 32 0 0.156 so it will be 0 0.156 microsecond so finally what we get the value 0 0.156 microsecond so this one is the correct answer for this question so the important points that we have to think in tau phl calculation output voltage will be vary from vdd the maximum when the pmos is on so the maximum voltage across the say vdd and when for the tau phl calculation we have to go for the half of the output voltage that you have vdd by 2 from definition and time say t1 to t1 plus tphl and we have to use this concept when the calculation of this type of tau phl best numerical so this is all about this numerical so the answer for the this question will be tau phl will be 0 0.156 microsecond okay so we have already solved this one okay so thank you for watching